Yeah, I had an English teacher like that. The one who told me I was mispronouncing my name. Oh. <laughs> told you you were mispronouncing your own name? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that started the whole thing, man. It was like... Did you tell you it should be Elgin? <laughs> no, she used to call me Eljon. Eljon. <laughs> Eljon. I was like, you know, you know, I thought about it. I was like, do I like that or not? You know, I mean, it's a variation. Of it. Nah, I don't like it. Maybe I'll just say it's Eljon. <laughs> I'll, trade. I'll trade names. <laughs> you're, like, you're right. My mom and dad are wrong. So like... <laughs> Like, she'd been, she'd been calling me Eljon for, like, weeks, <laughs> you know, and then finally one day I just, I didn't respond to her. She called me up front for doing some board work, and I ignored her. I was just sitting in my chair. I was over on the far side of the room looking out the window. She came stomping over, you know, to my side of the room and said, Eljon, I'm speaking to you. And I looked up and I said, you're speaking to me? She said, yes. I said, well, when you're speaking to somebody, isn't it proper for you to address them by name? She goes, I did, L. John. I said, oh, well, my name's not L. John. L. John. I bet she loved that. I bet she, she loved said, that. what is your name? And I said, it's Elgin. She said, well, you're mispronouncing it. I said, well, it's my name. I can pronounce it any way I damn well want to. Semantics. Right? To the office, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Does a mic drop as he walks to the office. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I was like in the ninth grade, you know, at that, mm -hmm. at that time. And I was I was always the like meek, quiet person. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the class, when that happened, everybody in the class's eyes were like really big because I never said anything at class before. But when you said it, you made it count, didn't you? Yeah. So I go down to the office and the principal's there. And, and you know, usually you have to go see the, the vice principal because that's the one that is the disciplinarian. But the principal was there today. His name is Mr. Irvin. And Mr. Irvin was really cool. And he, he said, huh? He goes, Bill, come into my office. Now, he always called me Bill. <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> so, that, I mean, this, this is the kind of life that I had. Ooh. Okay, so he always called me Bill. And the reason for that is I transferred to that school from a military school. So on my transcript, my last name was first. And my first name was, you know, after. So oh, sorry. William, William. Logan. Oh. And for some reason, from day one, he called me Bill because he thought that was my first name. <laughs> so I go into the office and he tells me to close the door. And I, and I do. And I sit down. And he asks, he has like this big jar of jawbreakers on his desk. And he asked me if I wanted a jawbreaker. So I was like, yeah, sure. So here I am. And I've got a jawbreaker in my mouth now. And. He goes, so what brings you here today? I told him the whole story. And, you know, at the end of it, he goes, you know, I mean, I'm minus the cursing. I didn't tell him verbatim what had happened. But, uh, he goes, that doesn't make sense. How do you mispronounce Bill? <laughs> That's not my name either. And I said, I had to explain that to I think him. It's time to say he goes, why didn't I think your name was Bill? And I said, I told him it was probably the transcript thing, you know, the military. He goes, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And he goes, but still, it doesn't make any sense why she's telling you, you. He goes, it's your name. You can pronounce it any way you want. And I said, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I told her. And did she retire after and he that? Goes, he goes, why did, why did she send you down here? And I said, well, I may have, like, kind of cursed at her a little. He goes, Oh, okay. Well, now I understand it. He goes, well, tell her I gave you detention. I said, you're giving me a detention over that? And he goes, no, but just tell her that. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right, so. Like, you can still call me Bill. We're cool now. <laughs> he goes, he goes and, and tell her that she should, uh, you know, in the future, uh, you know, listen to the way that you want to pronounce your name. So I said, okay. So I thought that was fair. So I go back over to the classroom and, you know, give her my hall pass. You know, I come back in. She goes, well, did you get everything straightened out? And I said, yeah. He said, I should apologize to you, but that you should call me by the, the name that I want to be called by. So she goes, fine. From now on, I'm going to call you Mr. Williams. That is just how you pronounce your last name, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the whole, from that day forward, she and I had a problem for the rest okay. of the time I was in school. And I had her for... 11th grade English, and I had her for senior composition, and she was also one of the uh, faculty advisors for the school newspaper. And in my senior year, I was, I was one of the editors for it. So I had to work with her a lot. Yeah. And for graduation, she actually got me a gift. She got me uh, Leslie's 20,000 words. 
And she wrote a little thing in the inside. She said, for the one with 20,000 words, there's many different spellings. <laughs> <laughs>